Hey everyone, I hope this video finds you well and making the most of your day. If you are new here, I'm Christopher and welcome, welcome, welcome. If you like lifestyle, luxury, skincare, product reviews, planning and organization, look no further my friend because this place is for you. So go ahead and click that little red subscribe button and join the fast growing community. And if you're gonna hang out with us here on YouTube, you might as well hop on over to my Instagram and join us over there as well. We have a fast growing community. It's a great place for us to touch base daily. I respond to as many comments as I possibly possibly can and answer all the questions that you might have about something we've talked about over here on YouTube. I'll leave my handle right here on the screen. I would love to catch up with you over there as well. Today I am bringing a video that many of you have requested. I've done a lot of my favorite work bag videos, but let's face it, some of them are quite expensive. And there are some really, really great budget friendly options that I've been using over the last couple months to really test them out and I can't wait to bring them to you. There's nothing over $200, and we go as low as $24.99 for one of these work bags. And I'm going to dive right into them because I have five of them to share with you, not 10, just five. I have five of them to share with you, and I'm super, super excited. So let's go ahead and talk about the first bag. I love a good canvas tote that is super simple and super sturdy. Um, and I was perusing Target and I found the perfect canvas tote because it has the addition of these riveted, really thick and sturdy shoulder straps that are made out of leather. And let's face it, pineapples are just really, really cool. And I love, love, love this pineapple print on the bag. But what's really great about this is I can literally just wipe this down with a cloth and it has come clean every single time and it still looks really, really good, and this has been tossed in my office, tossed in my car, carried on the weekend, but let me tell you what's even better. There's no frills, there's no exterior pockets, no interior pockets, so I do utilize a lot of pouches when I use this, but let me tell you what all fits in this bag. It fits my 13 inch laptop, plus my iPad, plus my planner, plus my Louis Vuitton toiletry 26, my car keys, my phone, and my pencil pouch um, that is in a lot of what's in my bag videos it holds all of it and it keeps its shape it doesn't get super slouchy and like wonky looking it's a really really great canvas tote and let me tell you another thing that's really cool about it as you carry it out in the sunlight the pineapples actually change colors i'm going to insert a picture right about here to show you how the pineapples change color. It's really subtle, but it is just a really cool feature of the bag. For $24.99, this makes a great summer work bag and just a tote in general because it holds a lot and it has held up really well. So I definitely recommend this as a really cheap, quick way. They also have ones that are just completely plain. So if you want something that looks a little bit more professional and not much of a design on it, totally have that as well. But always go with a canvas tote with leather straps for work, it works really well. Now, I totally get that a canvas tote is not professional enough for some work settings. So that is the only one that's that casual. The rest are very much work appropriate. And I have to share with you one that is in the same exact price point of around $25 or $26. And it is super high quality and I found it on Amazon. I've used it several times and I love it. So it is this leather tote. First of all, you guys know how I love a mix of brown and black. So it is black on the exterior and then has a camel colored lining, which I absolutely love. They also make it in reverse with the camel exterior with the black interior lining. So that one I'm super interested in as well. It has a really nice, strong magnetic closure for if you need to secure things. And then what's also really great is it comes with this little pouch that clicks on a D-ring on the exterior of the bag, and the pouch can, if I can get it wrangled, can double as like a little bit of a clutch or a pencil pouch or just to hold the things that you want more secure since it doesn't have pockets. I often use the D-ring to put on one of my Fendi Monsters, um, so I usually use it for that because I really don't need the pouch because I have several pouches that I put inside my bags. It also comes with a base shaper to help hold its shape within the bag. What's really great about this bag is it is really heavy and really, really sturdy. Like you can feel the quality. What I also like is that the sides are gusseted. So when it's not full, they automatically fold in on themselves, but you'll see 
as the bag gets fuller, it really does expand and give you some depth. So in here, I can fit my laptop, my toiletry 26, my book, my pencil case, my planner, my, app, my iPad Pro. It holds everything I need for a work day and has a really nice shoulder drop. So if it is getting a little heavy, I can throw it on my shoulder and it just fits really snug and it actually falls at that really, really comfortable point on me. I just really love this bag for $25 roughly. It's just super high quality, super sturdy, and the leather is pebbled so it wears really, really well. I would recommend this one. Like if you're on a budget and looking for a good professional looking work bag, this is it. I love it. The next bag we're gonna talk about is one that you guys had a fit over when I posted it on Instagram. And I told you it's a ridiculously good price for a high quality leather bag. And where I bought it, I didn't even know they sold bags. And it is this bag right here. Now you guys all know that I do have a black Birkin that I use for work very often. Um, this one gives me that same vibe um, in a much bigger, bigger style. And it also is just really, really beautifully crafted for the price point. Now it has like a Saffiano type leather. This buckle does come undone, but it's pointless because it goes nowhere and has a really nice shoulder strap that I never use. I just let it hang with a gold chain. But what I love about this bag is the interior. This interior has a padded laptop sleeve that then Velcro shut, so it will hold a big size laptop, at least 15 inches, minus 13, and my iPad Pro all fit within this pocket. Then it has a cell phone slip pocket, credit card organizing pocket, pens, and then just another secure little like Velcro snap shut pocket. All of this is padded and lined, and the lining is really, really great and wipes out really clean. I've literally used this for about two weeks straight. It zips completely closed on the top to give you all that security, and everything fits in really, really comfortably. The handles have a really nice drop. It is such a great, great bag. Like, I absolutely love it and have been using it and will continue to use it for many, many things. Here's the deal, $60 on Overstock. Yes, $60 for a really professional, really crisp and structured looking work bag that is so well made and the quality is there, the Lux is there, it just looks way more expensive and feels way more expensive than a $60 bag on Overstock. I didn't even know they sold bags, but they do. This is just the best find out of all of them. I love it so, so much. The next two I have shared on previous work bag totes, and they're just ones that I do continue to love. The first one is the Longchamps La Pillage. This is the extra large, and let me tell you what I've learned about this bag, is I hated it because it gave no structure. I disliked it. It was stuck up on my shelf. I did use it for like a weekend tote, but I just did not love this bag. Then I decided to throw in my Samorga organizer from my Neverfull GMs, as well as the base shaper, which is broken, but hey, it still serves its purpose, from my Neverfull GM. It all of a sudden lent itself to give this bag some structure and organization, and I have loved it for work. Now, I did get the short handle one, so I just carry it um, as a handbag but I love this bag so much. On the interior is like a little snap, oh, my long chunks. Little garbage is in there. It has a little like flap pocket that you can secure things in, but where all my organization comes from is the Samorga organizer. So in my Samorga organizer, I have a laptop sleeve, two like water bottle holders, some slip pockets up here, as well as some larger slip pockets and a pen loop. And I find as soon as I insert this, plus I kind of love the red and olive green contrast. Once I throw that in here, I really, really love this bag. It gave it the structure that it needed with it still feeling super, super relaxed. What I also love about this for work is if it gets thrown in your car, thrown on your office floor, all this nylon wipes away really cleanly. It doesn't snag. It just has really, really held up well. And now that I have found that combo of that organizer with that base shaper, 
I've started using this more and I'm really, really enjoying it. And I love the way it looks with certain outfits and just the whole vibe it gives in general. And this is roughly like $150. Don't quote me on that. I'll leave all the prices, but it's well below $200. And I just really, really love this bag. The last bag I have is the most expensive. I think when I did all the monogramming, it ended up coming to around $170, $180, somewhere around there. Don't quote me. It's under $200. I can promise you that but it is the Madewell Transport Satchel. This is by far my favorite, favorite work bag tote that I own. Even though I have some that are much more luxurious, far more expensive, this is one that I come back to all the time. It comes in a couple different color waves. So there's like a black version, a brown and black version, but this saddle brown is the one that I love. And I also have it monogrammed with my initials and the monogramming is embossed. It's really beautiful gold. All the hardware is like a tarnished, not too shiny gold, which I love. The shoulder strap is one that I absolutely love. I wear this crossbody, sometimes I just sling it over my shoulder, but because the shoulder pad is so thick, it really stays on your shoulder no matter how much you're carrying. And this does hold my 13 inch laptop, it holds my planner, my toiletry 26, everything I need fits in this despite it looking really small, it has really great depth. When you open it up, it really is just a big old empty satchel. So there are three slip pockets right here on the one side, and then on the other side is just a very simple and small zipper pocket where I will often like stick my card holder or my wallet or anything like that that I need to keep really secure. My car keys go in there. But this is one bag that I always go back to, and you see how soft and zhuzhy it is. That's how it comes to you, my friend. The leather quality is so beautiful. It's so well made. This thing got used and abused for about four months in a row, and it has maintained and only gotten more beautiful, but it really does show no signs of wear. Yeah, even the corners look in great, great shape. I love this bag. There's actually another Madewell tote that I have my eye on because I just find that the price point and the quality is there. And if you want like a high end, but really affordable looking work bag that has like a casual cool vibe, check out Madewell because they really are spectacular. And this transport satchel is definitely my favorite. I also love when it has the zipper top that you can keep everything enclosed in. Oh, I just love this bag. I love it. It's probably the one that I'd recommend the most out of the bunch and that one from Overstock. So my friends, those are my five budget-friendly work bag options. It is really nice to know that you can get some really high quality bags that look super professional, that work functionally for a really, really great price point. Like I said, none of these were over $200 and only two of them were over $100. But I'll tell you, that one from Overstock, oh, I love it. I wish it would come out in like a camely, saddly brown color. I would snag it up in a heartbeat. But I will leave everything linked down below. You should definitely check them out. Many of you have reached out around budget-friendly options, so I hope that you found this video useful. If you have some budget-friendly options as well, share them down below so other people can go and check them out. In the meantime, I will leave this video like I leave all of them, my friends. Take care of yourself, take care of others, and be kind. Kindness is free. Give it to everyone. Until next time, my friends, bye-bye.